Hi gamers, I'm Cyber Settler, and today we're playing Seven Days to Die. Yeah, I know this is not the usual game. <laughs> I play like the usual game uh, type I play in this uh, channel. But yeah, we are at the beginning of the year, and yeah, the this game um, received uh, have received massive updates, and I wanted. Um, to show you guys um, what they've done so the graphics are really um, well improved now well first of all uh, this game is about uh, zombies I would say that this game is Minecraft if it were well implemented <laughs> yeah um, <clears throat> especially the the like the zombie or horror part right well it's realistic but also it's um, well, it has in common with with uh, Minecraft that it's open world. It's um, uh, it's about base building, survival, and yeah, and it has uh, tower defense elements in, in the game, as you will see. Um, so the game is that it's of course post-apocalyptic, uh, a, a world um, riddled with zombies. Uh, zombie plague and um, yeah you are um, roaming this wasteland finding things to survive uh, crafting it has elements of crafting of course um, and you yeah basically it's open world you have to survive and every seven days you get like this um, horde of zombies uh, yeah sieging your your base so this is what's going to happen today today is day 21 so that's why the 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 marker is uh in red so here's uh, my base currently i i found this um abandoned house and yeah i made some uh, wall around it with uh, some Pikes, uh, I surrounded with pikes and wires to prevent the zombies to 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 get inside easily. At least not before they get some damage. So yeah, to I I what I want to do today is to finish beefing up a little bit the defenses. So. Ah, uh, there. We repair that one there. So we will need. Let's see. I have two more of these. So the key uh, is to try to predict what the zombies will will do when when they approach your base. Uh, they will try to look for weak spots on your base and yeah they will just gather around that spot so you can um, choose an a strategy where you attract the zombies somewhere and then you have like this um, yeah t tower defense um, mechanic going on if you are able to do that then you are really mastering the game so at this stage i um yeah i don't know what is going to happen the last the last time the horde spawned uh, it was inside uh, the house so this was surprising to me usually uh, when i play the game before they will come yeah from somewhere around the, the house um, but i don't know for which reason maybe maybe it was that they got somehow inside the house with, without me um noticing or i don't know but today we will see what what happens it's um it's anyone's guess at this point okay i i need some wood i i want to to make more of these barbed wire fences uh, thing so yeah you have um, one, uh, one important part of the game is uh, handling your stamina 
uh, is the blue bar you see there and this uh, activity that I'm doing right now consumes a lot of uh, stamina so you see there that I'm just uh, panting I cannot really there there are some beverage that will boost your stamina like coffee it's always a good idea to consume coffee um, when you're doing these uh, felling trees right so you have minerals here for example we have a, a, an iron um, rock but right now I need lots of wood because yeah uh, we, we need to make this barbed wire so I will predict um, now what is going to happen yeah it's he gets so tired we have to wait a little bit until the stamina goes up by the way you have like this um, system where you level up and you you train some skills right so this is the the, the character here and if you go to the to the skills then you um, you have all these different skills that you can train and yeah the the game as you train skills you can train your character in such a way that you become specialized by the way that the game is multiplayer so you can play with your friends in a server this is very fun and um, you can for example one can be an engineer the other one can be like a, a doctor type um, the other one can be a, a tank and the other one can be like a, an archer there, there are several things that you can do in my case i'm training the javelin because th this is a very effective uh, weapon um i'm playing alone so i have to be a little bit of everything but um basically he's good with the javelin also he's good with uh, with archery I'm training him uh, for archery because one thing that uh, archery has is that you can always um, it's easy to to craft uh, the arrows right so this is uh, if you're alone I think it's good also he's uh, sort of an engineer I'm training him to be able to yeah blacksmith and tinkering and that kind of stuff um, so yeah we are ready I oh I didn't finish this one, did I? Let's see how how many um, I can. I can craft. So my prediction is: well, whatever they come, like the the base is pretty much uniform in all sides so I don't see any preferred side here let me craft I think I will need more defenses this takes a lot of wood so yeah my prediction is that from wherever they will they will come they usually uh, tend to once they are inside they tend to go to this spot here and that's why I placed like this barbed wire here where fences with um, an eye reinforced uh, because originally there was a hole here in this house and I just um, covered it and reinforced it with uh, concrete and put another layer of cobblestone uh, wall so 
What I want to do is cover the entire um, perimeter of this lower part of the base with uh, the barbed wire because it doesn't matter f from where they come they will they will gather um, to try to to destroy this uh, uh, to destroy like to make a hole in the wall also they are able to climb on on each other this is uh, a really interesting ability they have if, if there are um, enough of them they can just um, climb like make a like this ant like w what the ant do right when they they find an obstacle obstacle they they will uh, create um a structure <laughs> by um yeah with their own bodies right by clinging to each other yeah so the the environment is um currently being prepared for the <laughs> for the action you see that the, the the sky is turning red reddish for the red moon i will close this gap here with another um spike trap there we go this here will also be closed ah by the way they um in, when I played this game before, I I had the impression that it was um, not so hard to find uh, fire weapons, but now it seems that they rebalance it, and now it's harder to find these uh, fire weapons. But you find like these makeshift weapons, like these. Um, pipe rifle for example and they are not so effective as um, a regular weapon but uh, like this factory made a weapon but it's better than nothing so it takes time to reload yeah I need what I need to do is that I have to get all the web the firing weapons i can with me so the strategy will be to take as many uh, enemies as possible with the uh, ranged weapons So for example here I, I have like several several pipe rifles right because if you see how it works let me reload this one uh, this is a shotgun but look at this 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 is the shotgun this um, how long it takes to reload Let's reload this one as well. Okay, and this one is really... Ah, at least this takes, uh, what? Six shots. That's not bad. But of course, this is the best one. This is the only weapon I have that is factory made. The other ones are really like makeshift weapons. Um, what else? Uh, I wanted to see if I could... We don't have much time now. How many of these uh, barbed wire can I create? Five, only five, okay. And I wanted also to have access to the upper... Yeah, here. So this, this house has really some advantages. It has all these uh, terraces where I can, from where I can uh, see around and, and shoot. I can aim. There's like a, a blind, blind spot at the back of the, of the house. If you see here.
so there th this this um, terrace only gets this far so in the back part I play some makeshift mines but I hope um, you will slow down the so let's place these things they're not too many but at least they will have a hard time trying to get to this hole here well let's see if our prediction works um, yeah my plan is to use iron arrows first to try to slow them down I won't use the the far weapons just at the beginning I will leave them for the last let's see how it goes Th this character is good at, at shooting um, like at archery I mean I can make a lot of damage but of course it takes uh, it's slow right it has a, a low rate of fire so I think yeah at 10 is the time let's see if we let's get rid of the things that we don't need so if you want jump scares this game is a good game to get jump scares so what do we need uh, i will drink this potion just starting what else do we need? We need um, medical. Yeah, I will put this here for medical treatment. What does this give? Uh, cure fatigue. What else can I? Uh, these are painkillers. This also is good. Painkillers. Ah, look, I have still a, a gun here. Okay. Let's do this. Well, let's see how this goes. Some minutes still to go. The bike is very fun to ride <laughs> so we have bikes in the game let's put the bike inside I, I think I don't I don't need that and ah, one another advantage of this house is that you can just climb the ceiling this is really an advantage and he's hungry again and thirsty seriously oh I will need water that's for sure let's go get some water because when he gets thirsty And I mean, in the middle of a fight, it fa affects the stamina. Oh, great. There's no... There's no water. Seriously. So let's boil some water quickly before they come.
It is almost time. Yeah, it's time. There. They are here. Welcome to my house, guys. Where are they? Ah, there they are. Well, you see that they are going to the hole, right? Well, the mechanic of the of the R of the bow is not very good. I have to press it all the time. Okay, so we need Oh, that misfired. Yeah, so they want to enter through the hole. Here. They're trying to enter there. But it will take a while for them to do that. So let me see if... They're all there. Okay. Yeah, they're all there. We should just uh, try to... As soon as they have the hole... Yeah, they're breaking here. We should try to kill as much as possible once they have a hole there. Wow, it will take time for them to do that. Because this is concrete. He's hungry already, it's incredible. There are not so many. Hmm. What could be the best thing to do? I think maybe creating a hole here. Because this is taking so long for them to come in. Ah, there. there I don't see them where are they oh they're inside already oh nice okay Okay, more. Oh. Wow, 
Well, this is the best way to kill them, like aim for the head, right? Oh, this was not low. Ah, this was the one that misfired. Oh! Okay. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Okay, now I'm infected. Okay, so how, m how many are there? Let's see if they have... Um, oh, they have shotgun. Let's reload this. I'm out of um, ammo now for the... Where are they right now? They're destroying the whole house. I hate it. Ah, they're here. Whoa, there's so many. Whoa. So many. It, the, the, I think the thing is, they will keep coming. They will keep coming um, for some time. This is the thing until five or so okay but we are out of uh, ammo okay let's eat something oh and my health is really low So this zero as well. Damn it. Okay. They're destroying the house. That's for sure. Creating a mess down there. Ah, there are. Wow, ah, they opened here, look at that. They just opened a hole here. Where are they? They're inside. Okay, I shouldn't deplete my stamina.
They're all inside. I have to try to kill them inside. Well, he just... Why are they doing this? Like, why are they running there? Oh! They just come and run? It's terrifying, isn't it? There, this is where I want them. It's hard to It's hard to aim, aim at them. So, let's see. Wait a sec. I know. No. I said I was going to use this, right? There we go. Wow! <laughs> so many of them. They're all gathered here okay how can i so difficult they're destroying everything i think they they tend to destroy all the equipment and stuff but without a gun it's just damn it <laughs> they're destroying everything Look at that! They're all there. Just destroying my house. Hey! Stop it! <laughs> now he's thirsty. What a time to be thirsty. Oh shoot! Let me get some medicine. I should, um, yeah, I should try to get them from outside. But one thing is for certain, like they, they have destroyed my house. Like my, yeah, like my crafting stations and such. From outside, I cannot. And they all went through this hole here, I think. They are able to crawl. They came through here. Oh, careful. I don't have more ammo. 
just shotgun ammo but this is not going to I have to like to be able to fire quickly At least I can hit them. No. I just fell. I think... Oh, that was it. Goodness. <laughs> okay, so this is my workbench. It was not destroyed. Also the forge. What? They were just destroying the structure. <laughs> that was terrifying. Yeah, they, what were they doing? What were they looking for? Ah, uh, they destroyed some um, furniture. Ah, uh, look, ammo. The hunter's journal, yes. So that's the other mechanic of the game. You find like the, the books lying around. So yeah, this was terrifying. <laughs> ah, this is the land claim block. Well, a lot of destruction, certainly. But it's amazing, they are able to... Um, this. I think this mechanic is somewhat new. They are able to crawl through a single block right there. My prediction was not far off, but um, certainly they didn't um, went for this one. It was very difficult for them. And what I found more effective was uh, shooting them while they were coming. So at the end, this strategy with a bow is not very helpful. You need like to be able to fire rounds quickly this here when I was killing them when when they're coming this that the best strategy so yeah we, you we have to try to slow them down once they get inside yeah but that means putting barbed wire fence all around okay guys so yeah this is it I think uh, we survived. <laughs> the, at, at one point, I, I thought I was dead. Several times I fell and I was surrounded by zombies. And you saw there that I got infected. Now, um, when you're infected, um, this infection, if not treated, will um, at the end uh, kill you. Basically, I think you become a zombie. But now I um, took some honey and it's, um, yeah, I'm being uh, cured of the infection. So you have to, you have to have like either honey or antibiotics. And yeah, now I have to rebuild my base. I find it, yeah, I'm 
I'm seeing that uh, it could be helpful to have such um, holes here in the terrace so I can aim from above. Yeah, but you see the, the tower defense. So if you are like, if you know that the zombies are going to come in through some place, for example, this, this hole right here, you can create like a... You can prepare some path for them, so they will advance slowly, they take damage, you can set traps. And this is also really fun in this game to, to come up with uh, such strategies. Oh, I think that this pillar was destroyed here. Okay, yeah, a lot of... <laughs> uh, I have to make a lot of... Um, What's called repairs. He's hungry again. Okay, guys, but um, yeah, that's it for this video. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. I know it's not the usual content, but um, yeah, um, I hope you had fun. So, hope to see you in the next one. This is Cyber Settler signing off.